my friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here I have such a fun video in store for you today we are doing all things appetizers all things in the air fryer it is football season it is the holidays and appetizers are what we like to serve at football events gatherings holidays get togethers with our family and appetizers can sometimes kill us in points so today i'm sharing with you a tray full of ww friendly appetizers that you can make in your air fryer no one would ever know that they weren't deep fried they were amazing they taste so good and every single one is ww friendly so if you want to see my appetizer series of the air fryer videos then all you have to do is stay tuned doing a very special edition of my WW Air Fryer series. With football season starting, the weather turning, holidays coming, we are going to do an entire meal of WW friendly appetizers. These are things that you can use like I am to create a whole meal, or you can use these for events or parties or football games, just giving you some great ideas of some different things that you can do that are delicious appetizers, all using the air fryer, all WW friendly. So let me show you the different appetizers and then what we're using to create those appetizers. So first we're gonna be doing just some sausage bites. So I'm gonna be using the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple Sausages. These are delicious and they are only two smart points a link. So we're gonna be making some little miniature sausage bites. Also, we're gonna be making homemade zucchini fries. So I've cut up some zucchini into wedges and we're going to bread those and fry those in the air fryer and make ourselves some zucchini fries. I have some of the Trader Joe's light mozzarella sticks and we are going to be making mozzarella sticks. You guys, breaded mozzarella sticks like the restaurant. Cannot wait. We're also going to make onion rings. So I've gotten a few requests for onion rings on my air fryer series. So we're definitely going to be making some of those. And these are just some organic mushroom or mushrooms, onions, uh, sweet onions. So we're going to do onion rings and then we're going to be doing some potato wedges. So we're going to have a little bit of everything. So you have five separate appetizers, all WW friendly, all in the air fryer. So for these, we are going to need a couple different kinds of breadcrumbs, panko and just your traditional breadcrumbs. You're also going to need some eggs to drudge in before you coat for the breadcrumbs. And way over here, we have our spices. So of course, just your traditional salt and pepper. I'm gonna be using some onion powder. And then I'm gonna be using two Dax seasonings. First is the original red. This one has a little bit of a kick, has some paprika in it. It is absolutely amazing. And then I'm going to be using Dax Green Zest. I really like this one as well. It has a little bit of lemon peel in it, so it just gives that really nice flavor on vegetables. So Dax seasonings are all zero salt, all natural, all real ingredients and no MSG. Nothing in these except whole spices. And they are so good, they are amazing before weigh-in because they don't have any salt, but they have all of the flavor. So my code is here on the screen for Dax if you're interested in trying out their spices. They have over 20 different spices. I own them all, I love them all. They're so incredibly delicious. So use my code here for 10% off and free shipping. I may throw a little parsley in the mix as well, but let's get going on these appetizers. So the first thing we need to do is chop. I already have my zucchini chopped up. I don't have to do anything with my cheese sticks, but I am going to slice my sausages here into bite-sized pieces, a couple of my onions into rings, and then I'm going to chop, I don't know, four or five of these potatoes into wedges, and then we're gonna get everything seasoned and coated and ready for the air fryer. <music> to do is crack a couple of eggs here into my bowl. We're gonna need egg for all of our 
air fryer appetizers because we're gonna coat them in the egg before we actually run them through the breadcrumbs. So we have to make sure we have enough egg for all of the appetizers. So I'm just going to give this just kind of a quick mix and then we'll put together the breadcrumb mixture for our first couple of appetizers. The only one that we are not going to bread is the sausage, but we are going, or in the potatoes, but we are going to bread the onions, the zucchini, and the mozzarella sticks. So I've went ahead and added one half of a cup of my panko breadcrumbs to a plate. I've cut my mozzarella sticks in half and I have my egg. So for my mozzarella sticks, I obviously want a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And this is one half of a cup of the panko breadcrumbs. And then to this, I'm just going to add a little bit of onion powder. And that's all that I'm going to put in the panko mix for the mozzarella stick. So I am going to take my mozzarella stick. Oh, first. But first, I have my cookie sheet here with some foil. And then I'm going to take my mozzarella stick, just dip it in the egg, shake off any extra, and then I'm going to just roll it here in my panko. And I'm gonna repeat that until all of my mozzarella sticks are coated in the egg mixture and the panko. And I'm just putting all of my stuff here on this cookie sheet. So when I'm ready to get it into the air fryer, then I have everything ready. So let me get the rest of these mozzarella sticks all breaded and ready to go. And then next we're going to do our zucchini fries. is our zucchini. So I have three quarters of a cup of the panko breadcrumbs. This time I'm going to use this Dax green zest. I love the green zest on any vegetable. So I'm going to put some of that and then I'm going to add just again some salt and some pepper and then we'll be ready to get our zucchini going. So I usually like to kind of mix this up a little bit. And then here is my zucchini. So all I'm going to do is the same process I did for the cheese, is I'm going to go ahead and just dredge it into the egg, shake off any extra. And these are easy, you just kind of roll them into the panko and it just sticks really nicely to the zucchini because the zucchini is a wet vegetable as it is. So there are our zucchini spears. And again, I'm putting them onto my tray here and I'm gonna repeat that process until they are all done. Lastly for breading is the onion ring. So I'm gonna be using these roasted garlic breadcrumbs. And just so you guys know, I am not using all of the breadcrumbs. There is always quite a bit left over. I just like to have enough on my plate to help coat everything a little bit easier. So I'm gonna be doing that. And to that, I'm going to add my Dax Original Red, and that's just going to add just that little bit of extra flavor to my onion rings. Give that kind of a quick mix. And then for our onion rings, it is literally the same. We're gonna dip them in the eggs and we're going to dip them into these breadcrumbs. So with this one, we're using your smaller grained breadcrumbs and I think that they will just be a little bit more like traditional onion rings that way. So these look delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of our onion rings nice and coated in the eggs and the breadcrumb mixture. And then we'll be ready to get everything into the air fryer. Sorry for the terrible lighting from the amazing tin foil, but I have my racks here for my air fryer. I have three racks total, so I'm actually going to spray these with some of the nonstick cooking spray. I have it on foil so that it doesn't get nonstick cooking spray all over my counter. And then I'm basically just going to add my air fryer goodies to my rack. So I may have to do this in a couple of batches because I have three racks and I have a lot to cook. So I'm gonna start here with my potato wedges. I'm just going to get them lined out here on my rack. And then I'm gonna move on to my sausages and then on to all of my breaded items. So let's get everything on these racks and then we'll be ready to put them into the air fryer. So we are set. There are our potato wedges, our sausages, we have our zucchini fries, and then on this tray, I have my mozzarella sticks and my onion rings. So what I'm going to do is give everything another quick spray with the nonstick cooking spray. The reasoning for that is it helps everything fry up a little browner in the air fryer. So I'm just going to give a quick spray 
over the top. No, I do not count this. A lot of it's going to cook off. It's just going to help get them nice and golden brown. So I'm ready to get these into my air fryer. So everything's in the air fryer. I have my potato wedges and sausage on the top. The potatoes are going to take the longest to cook, so I threw them up on the top where the majority of the air and heat is circulated. Then my zucchini fries, then my mozzarella sticks, and my onion rings. And my sausage is on top as well, but it will probably cook rather quickly. So throughout the cooking process, I will rotate my shelves. If you have the basket style air fryer, you would do the same thing. You would open it throughout the cooking process, shake up your basket. I just like the oven because I feel like I can cook a lot more at once. So everything's in. So let's get this guy going. So we're going to turn it on. I like to cook everything at like 400 on my air fryer. And then I'm going to set it for 20 minutes, but I'm going to check it throughout the process and again, rotate the shelves. So if I hit the light, I can see everything kind of cooking away in there. So I will be back when I pull everything out of the air fryer and show you our completed dinner and give you the smart points. All right, our appetizers are out of the air fryer. It did not take 20 minutes. It was about 15 minutes and everything looks amazing. I rotated the shelves a couple of times so everything got that nice brown. So here are my onion rings and my mozzarella sticks. They look so good. My zucchini fries look amazing. My potato wedges and my sausages. They look burnt on camera, but they're not, honestly. I swear, they're not. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate everything up and I'll be back to show you my dinner of appetizers and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So this would make an amazing plate of appetizers. There is still literally a ton left, you guys. So plenty for a little get together. So I have one whole mozzarella stick or two halves. That is three smart points, including the breading. And actually it's more like two smart points because I didn't use very much breading. So we're gonna call it two. I have my onion rings. It is going to be one smart point for the breading of my onion rings. So now we're up to three points. One point for the breading of my zucchini is four because the onions in the zucchini are zero. And then I have two smart points or one entire sausage link. And then I have two smart points worth of potato wedges. So that is two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, my friends, is my eight smart point dinner. So you can literally have an appetizer, a plate of appetizers made ww friendly delicious for eight smart points i would recommend getting some marinara sauce for your mozzarella sticks some ketchup whatever it is that you like for dipping sauce i may do a little bit of the french's honey mustard we shall see but this is tonight's air fryer appetizer dinner thank you for joining me on another air fryer video and what a fun one this was all those appetizers ww friendly easy to cook in your air fryer easy cleanup and all of them were so good. My husband kept saying, we should make these again. We should make these again. So that is a good thing when the husband or the family really enjoys what you're making. And it's all WW friendly and low in points. So you can see we made a meal out of our appetizers, but also you could serve these at any type of event or party that you have with the upcoming few months. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please take a moment and hit that little subscribe button and that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss out. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of these appetizers and which one was your very favorite and a must make. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.